Hey, what's up guys? What if I told you that there was one application that you can install on any Amazon Fire Stick in just a few minutes that would give you all of your entertainment absolutely free? This app is loaded with all of the brand new movies, TV shows, sports, almost 20,000 live television channels from around the globe. It has sports, anime, so much more. This app is fully loaded. And if you stick with me for just a few minutes, I'm gonna walk you through step by step everything it is that you're gonna need to know so that you too can have this amazing app on your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, guys, well, if you're ready to learn, let's begin. All right, guys, so you're excited and ready to install that amazing application that I just told you about. But in today's video, I'm not gonna show you just how to get one app. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna have the opportunity to download dozens of different applications, offering free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and much more. But today, we're here for one app in particular. Let me show you how to get that. The very first thing that we need to do is go into the Amazon App Store and download one application. The easiest way to do this is simply slide over until you're in the magnifying glass right here. Then push down and hit the center button. It'll then bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whichever application in the Amazon App Store it is that you're looking for. Today, we're looking for an application called Downloader. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. Now there's no need to type out the entire word. All you need to do is simply slide down and select Downloader here and click on it. It's then gonna take you to this bright orange app. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now it's gonna give you the ability to download this on your device. All you need to do is click the center button and the download process begins. Now as soon as the download is finished, it's gonna go through the installation. And after that is finished, it's gonna say open but I don't wanna open this app just yet. We need to change one more setting in our device before we open the app. So as soon as you see that it's open, go ahead and click your home button. Now we need to go and change one setting. And the easiest way to do that is simply slide all the way over to the very end. And when you do, a menu will pop up on the bottom half of your screen. What I would like for you to do is slide down and we wanna click on My Fire TV. Now, right here, you might notice that I have something called developer options. If for any reason your device does not have developer options, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get it. All you need to do is come up here and click right there where it says about. And as you are highlighted up at the top on your device, all you need to do is simply click that center button on your remote several times. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll notice a little pop-up that says, congratulations, you are now a developer, or no need, you're already a developer. Either way, we're just waiting for that pop-up, and as soon as you see the pop-up, then you can click the back button on your remote, and now you will have developer options. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Right here, the very first thing that we see is ADB debugging. Let's go ahead and click that on by clicking your center button. Then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna click Install Unknown Apps. And as you can see, Downloader has appeared on the list. All we need to do is click our center button and turn Downloader on. Now, if for any reason you have an older Fire Stick, you might not have this option. Just make sure that you turn Install Unknown Apps on. All right, guys, that's all that we need to do in our settings. Let's go ahead and click the Home button on our remote. The next thing that we need to do is go and find that brand new downloader application that we just installed. The easiest way to do that is simply slide all the way over to that icon and click on it. This will bring up every application that you've installed on your Fire Stick. As you continue to download new applications, the newest app always goes to the very bottom of the list. So all you need to do is scroll down through all of your applications and the very last application will be the Downloader app. Let's go ahead and open this. Now you might have a little pop-up, just click your center button and that will disappear. All right guys, so welcome to the Downloader app. This app allows you to go along the internet to almost any website it is that you would like to visit. All you need to do is simply slide up 
and click your center button. And again, a keypad will pop up, allowing you to type out any web address along the internet that you would like to visit. But in today's video, I wanna take us to one address in particular. I'm gonna throw that on the screen as I spell it. All right, guys, so now that you've entered that address correctly, just push go. Now you'll notice I have a red circle on my screen, and if I push left and right and up and down, I get to move that red circle. What I would like for you to do is move that red circle down a little bit. What we're looking for is this black box right there it says download APK Android. All you need to do is move that red circle onto that box anywhere and click your center button. When you do, the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download is finished, it's gonna ask for you to install the app. So what you should do is slide over and click the word install. Once the installation is finished, what I would like for you to do is slide over and click the word done. By clicking done, it's gonna bring you back to this screen where then you're gonna have the ability to delete this unnecessary file. So just slide over, click delete, and slide over and click delete. All right, well that's everything that we need with the downloader app. Let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. The next thing that we need to do is go and change one setting. And if you remember from before, the easiest way to do that is simply slide all the way over to the very end and the setting menu will appear on the bottom half of the screen. Again, we're gonna wanna come and click on My Fire TV. We want to click Install Unknown Apps, and now Unlinked will be on the list. Just like Downloader, all you need to do is click the center button, and now we've turned Unlinked on. It's very important that both Downloader and Unlinked are turned on for this process to work. All right, let's go ahead and click the Home button on our remote. Again, we need to go find that brand new application that we just installed. And as you remember, the easiest way to find all of your apps is to click that icon and scroll to the bottom, as all of the new apps always go to the very bottom. Let's go ahead and open the Unlinked app. Now right here is gonna ask for you to enter a new library. Just click your center button. Click your center button one more time. And again, a keypad will pop up, allowing you to enter any code it is that you would like to enter. Now guys, I have worked really hard to create my very own app store, where I've loaded it with only the very best, most up-to-date applications. And I'm given exclusive access to my own personal app store to my viewers only. Now, all I ask in return uh, for all of my hard work of creating the app store, creating this video, answering all of the comments, is that you're kind enough just to take a half of a second and hit that subscribe button. That just tells me thank you for all of the hard work that I've put into this, giving it away for free to all of my viewers. So thank you so much to each of you that are subscribed. I really appreciate it. Now that you are a subscriber, what I would like for you to do is go ahead and enter this code right here. All right, so now that you've entered that code correctly, just click right there where it says next. And guys, welcome to my personal app store. Right here are my top five recommended applications. So depending on what it is that you would like to download from my store, what it is that you're looking for, whether it be movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, anime, whatever it might be, these are my top five applications for those. So what I would like for you to do now is click your center button on your remote two times. So by hitting the center button on your remote a couple of times, it's going to break my store down into different categories. You can push up and down on your remote to slide through the categories or left and right to slide through the applications. But today we're here for one app in particular that's going to give you all of the movies TV shows, sports, almost 20,000 live television channels, anime, and much more, 
all in one app. And guys, that is the Flix Vision app. So I want to show you how my store works. All you need to do is simply highlight whichever application it is that you would like to download from the store and click the center button. When you see the pop-up, click download. Now give your system just a few seconds or maybe a minute to download the app depending on your own internet speed and connection. Here you can see how fast the app is downloading. As soon as the app is finished downloading, it's going to ask for you to go through the installation process yourself. So we're just going to give it just a couple more seconds to finish the download process. Then we want to click install app. We're going to slide over and click the word install. Give your system just a few seconds for this app to install. Once the installation is finished, it's going to bump you right back into my store so that then you can continue downloading even more applications. So I want to download the IPVanish VPN. Let's go ahead and click the center button. Click download. Again, we're going to wait for this to get to 100% to install this app. All right, so now that the download is finishing up, what we do is we click install app. We slide over and we click install. And just like before, in a few seconds, it's going to bump you right back into the store. Now, guys, you're already in the store. Please take full advantage. Download as many applications as you like. All of the applications in my store are free to download. And each of them offers something different than the other. Again, when you break my store into different categories, just push up and down to select the different categories or left and right to select the different apps. Now that you've downloaded everything it is that you would like from my store, what I want for you to do is click the home button on our remote. Because just like before, I, we need to go and find all of those amazing applications that we just installed on our device. And the easiest way to find all of your apps is to click on that icon. And if you remember, they all go to the bottom. All right, guys, here are all of the brand new apps that we just installed on our device. So what I would like for you to do is highlight one of those amazing applications. Then what I want you to do is click the three dashes on your remote right next to the home button. And when you do, a little menu will appear in the corner of your screen. Now you can click move or you can slide down and click on move to front. And what that does is it brings the application from the very bottom of the list all the way to the top of the list. I want to move two more and I'm going to show you what all that does. So select the app, hit the three dashes and move to front. Select the app, hit the three dashes and move to front. Again, you can move these applications around in whatever order is going to work best for you, but I want to show you what putting them to the top of this list did for your device. Right here from the home screen where you begin each and every time. Right here are the brand new applications that we just installed. Right here is the brand new unlinked app. That is my store. So if you want to go and try out some new apps or get some updates to some existing apps, you're going to have easy access right here from your home screen to do so. And right here is the IP Vanish VPN. This application is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure while enjoying all of your entertainment for free. Now guys, before I ever open any of those applications from my store, I always turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and open up our VPN. Now right here, it will ask you for a username and password. If for any reason you don't already have a username and password, don't worry, I'm going to make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is open up any internet browser and enter this address right here. Also, if you'd like to scroll down below this video into the description or into the comment section, I'm going to leave a link down there for you to click on also. By clicking on the link, it's going to take you to the IPVanish website. From there, you can pick out whichever plan is going to work best for you. Once you do, they're going to email you your very own username and password to enter right here. I'm going to enter mine and I'll meet you in just a second. All right, guys, so welcome to the IP Vanish VPN. Again, it is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure. Not only that, it also bypasses all of the restrictions 
that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. Now, by signing up with the IPVanish VPN, you get full access to their VPN protection on unlimited number of devices. So if you have more than one Fire Stick in your house, or if you'd like to use the VPN on your cell phone or other devices in your home, again, this is for unlimited devices. Now, really quickly, before we hit connect, I wanna show you just a few settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on the gear icon. By doing so, it brings up this menu. Right here, it says connect on Android startup. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I've turned my Fire Stick on and forgot to turn my VPN on a few times before opening the app. But if you don't want to worry about that, all you need to do is say, click your center button and turn connect on Android startup. So that means when you turn your Fire Stick on, the VPN is going to connect automatically for you. That way you don't have to remember, did I do that or didn't I do that? All right, now we're going to come down here and I want to tell you about split tunneling. So some applications you don't need a VPN for, some applications you absolutely need a VPN for. So split tunneling allows you to pick which application you would like the VPN to be on and which application you might not want the VPN to be running on. So you're going to have all those options in split tunneling. Also, there's going to be your account information. If you have any need to contact the support, if you're having any issues, all of that information is going to be right here. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew where to find all of that. All right, so let's go ahead and click the back button on our remote because now what I would like for you to do is click connect. Now push down and click OK. Give your system just a second. And as soon as you see the country light up in green, you know that you are connected. Also, it's going to say connect it right here in the top corner of your screen, and it's going to give you a timer letting you know how long that you've been connected. All right, so now all you need to do is click the home button on your remote, and the VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you protected and connected while you go and enjoy all of those applications that you've downloaded from my store. I really hope that you like this brand new application that we came here today for that gives you movies, TV shows, sports, almost 20,000 live television channels from around the globe. It has anime. It's loaded, guys. So I would love to hear from you down below in the comments what you think about this app, what you think about the video, my store, anything it is that you would like to comment. I love reading your comments down below and I answer each and every one of you. I try to help as many people as I can. Guys, that's, that's what I'm doing this for. I just wanna help people so that they too can enjoy all this stuff that I get to enjoy. So please, if you have not done so already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all of the hard work that I've put into this. And if you'd like to be notified every time I release a video, just hit that notification bell. You can also give the video a like, but above all of that, I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend. That way they too can have all of this amazing entertainment absolutely free, just as you do. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video.